Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Mackenzie, and this week we're gonna learn something, a cool little trick that we call the Fincher Effect. One of my all-time favorite directors is David Fincher because he uses a, a mixture of practical and special effects to really make each individual shot look beautiful. And one thing he likes to do is take two different takes and then merge them together and cut them together to make it look like it's one single take. So what this does is it really enhances the actor's performance and really highlights each individual take and what's good about each individual take. So we're gonna learn how to do that in an interview. So let's take a look at our timeline and see what we got. So here I have an interview that we shot for a client and what I did was I removed the audio and uh, when I play it back and he answers the question, the other interviewer is sitting there and she's looking down and she's looking all around and let's say I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a different area um, of the interview that she is being a little more attentive and, and listening to what he's saying and I'm gonna drag that oh, I'm gonna drag that over uh, the existing clip and so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to uh, mask the first clip over the second clip so let's do that right now so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change um, the window here and I'm gonna change it to about yeah, 25% is is pretty good. And so and so what this does is it shrinks the size of the video, um, allowing us to easily mask over uh, the clips. So now that I've changed the size, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the effects controls. I'm gonna make sure this is highlighted. And I'm gonna go down here to opacity and click the uh, free mask drawer. And as you can see, it pops up a mask right here. And what I'm going to do is I am going just to create a simple box. And so what that does is it splits the two clips. So this is one clip and that's another clip. Um, and I believe I have it set so that this is the clip that I just masked out. And if I wanna change it, I can change it to her just like that. And so what this is, is if you have two interviewers, you can really highlight each individual performance differently. And if you don't like what somebody else does while the other interviewer is talking, this allows for you to have a much more effective uh, interview and really highlight their performance. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play it back uh, at the full frame here. And as you can see, there are two separate clips and um, you wouldn't even notice. <laughs> That's what I love so much about this. Now this effect only works if you have very little movement in your shots or if the shots are static. It can get very, very tricky if you have a shoulder rig uh, and you're filming these shots on a shoulder rig and you wanna you know, switch out the different shots, that'll be next to impossible. You wanna make sure it's locked down, you wanna make sure that the movement is very, very slow. Um, so that you can easily switch out these two clips. And so I'm just gonna stylize it just a little bit more here with this mask. I'm gonna increase the feather a little bit just to make sure that uh, the two clips here blend nicely together. And there you have it. There are two separate clips, but you wouldn't even notice. And so we call this the Fincher effect just because David Fincher uses this for Mind Hunter. He uses this for House of Cards. He uses this for a lot of projects he does. And so what this does is if you have two interviewers or you have two subjects in your short film and you want to swap out the takes and merge two takes together, this is a very practical and easy way for you to do in Premiere Pro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment down below if you have any questions. Hit that subscribe button. We upload every single Wednesday. And uh, yeah, leave a like on this video. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, my name is Mackenzie, and we will see you all here next week.